It was all smiles when President Obama and Russian President Medvedev signed the START Treaty. But those smiles soon turned to frowns. Why? Well, America has been planning to place defensive missile systems in Poland and Romania to protect them and our other friends in Europe. However, these defensive missile sites are against Russia's wishes. Russia is so angry about these plans that its top military officer threatened to fire attack missiles to blow up these sites before they become operational. Also, Russia's deputy defense minister called the U.S. plans crossing a red line. To appease Russia's concerns about America building more defensive missile sites in Europe, Obama, thinking no one else was listening, whispered to Medvedev that he'll have more flexibility after his re-election. My last election, yeah. Uh, after my election, I am more flexible. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. I transmit this information. Let me understand. What does it mean when Russia's military leaders threaten a preemptive strike against us and our allies? And yet, there's no word of America's staunch defense of the sovereignty of its friendly allies. The New START Treaty already reduces America's strategic weapons advantage over Russia. What if the president's flexibility actually includes going ahead with his stated intention to eliminate 80% of America's nuclear deterrent? Do Americans believe in their hearts that America is still worth defending? Do we really want a leader who is flexible with our very survival? Or do we want a leader who follows President Kennedy's example? For only when our arms are sufficient beyond doubt can we be certain beyond doubt that they will never be employed. In fact, will President Obama's flexibility make Russia stronger and America weaker? Has President Obama's START Treaty actually gone from bad to worse? Paid for by Let Freedom Ring, which is solely responsible for the content of this ad.